as the first rays of sunshine drizzle the ocean deep, another fun day begins in Fishtail Reef. So our story begins. Fifi and Finn live with their parents, Mama and Papa Fish, in a colourful coral house, surrounded by green, squishy seaweed in the fabulous, fun-filled Fishtail Reef. It's the first day of school, and Fifi and Finn are very excited. Fifi, an adorable pink-coloured fish with long eyelashes, wears a shiny pink bow on her head. How do I look, Finn? Her brother Finn, a handsome blue-coloured fish, wears oversized eyeglasses and a baseball hat he found lying on the ocean floor. Swishy, cute and pink. How about me? Ooh, fish bobbing fantastic! I like your hat. Thanks, sis. Gotta look cool on the first day of school. I'm a little nervous. About what? About seeing all my friends. About who my teacher is going to be. Happy day, my little fishies. Happy day, Mama. Ready for the first day of school? I'm ready, but Fifi is nervous. Why are you nervous, Fifi? I haven't seen my friends all summer. Will they remember me? Who will my teacher be? It's okay to feel nervous on your first day of school, Fifi. Everyone does. Soon you'll be having so much fun, all those nervous feelings will wash away. How are you feeling, Finn? I'm excited. I'm going to see my best friend, Sammy Swordfish, the coolest fish in the sea. <laughs> I thought I was the coolest fish in the sea. I'm so proud of you two. Ready to go? Yes! Every year, on the first day of school, Mama and Papa Fish swim Fifi and Finn to the edge of the reef where ocean rock coves become fish-filled classrooms. Billy! Look, it's my best friend, Billy! Thanks for swimming me to school! Sammy! See you later, alligators! Have a fun morning at school! We'll be here to swim you home for lunch. Lily, it's so good to see you! How was your summer? My grandparents were awesome. We ate delicious food all the time. How was your summer? <laughs> Super fun! We played lots of games in the reef. Oh, look! There's Paddle! Paddle! How was your trip? It was amazing. Did you get to walk on land? What was it like? I did walk on land. It was a very sandy beach, and the sand tickled my flippers. <laughs> this is so much fun! I love being friends! Fifi has forgotten all about being nervous. She is too busy having fun. It's Principal Bellowing Whale. School is about to begin. Who do you think we'll get for our teacher? I hope it's Professor Shark. Me too. My dad says he's the smartest shark in the sea. As little fish laugh and play in the school park, they all hope their new teacher is Professor Shark. As the early morning sunshine beats down in the sea, the young fish wait to hear who their teacher will be. The next ten fish will report to the classroom. <coughs> Lily! That's me! Beefy! We're together! Pedal! Trigger! Kiki! Sammy! Tang! And lastly, Diesel, Chopper, and Finn! Oh no! My brother is in my class! 
All ten of you report to the classroom. Your teacher will be... <coughs> Professor Shark! Yay! The ten classmates gather around Professor Shark, a kind and thoughtful teacher and the smartest shark in the sea. Five fish bob on one side of Professor Shark, five fish on the other, all of them thrilled to be in his class. Welcome! I'm so happy to have all of you in my class. Since it's the first day of school, I'd like each of you to tell us your name and something special about yourself. I will go first. I am Professor Shark. I have thousands of sharp teeth in my mouth, but I am very friendly. I have been teaching for many years and I love what I do. I am very excited to meet all of you! My name is Fifi. <laughs> I'm a pastel fish with big goldfish eyes. Is that special? Yes, it is! What is your favorite color? Pink! <laughs> As you can see, I love pink! <laughs> I'm Fifi's brother, and I'm a blue pastel fish with big gold fish eyes. <laughs> yes, you are. What do you want to be when you grow up, Finn? A scientist. I like learning about the sea. That's wonderful. The ocean is filled with so many amazing things to discover. That makes you very special, Finn. I'm Lily. I'm a blue whale. Whales are not fish. We are mammals. I can breathe air. I love to eat, and I'm going to be very big when I grow up. And Lily is my best friend. Oh, and uh, Fifi is my best friend. Nice to meet you, Lily. Whales are very special marine mammals. My name is Petal. I'm a sea turtle. Sea turtles are reptiles. I can breathe underwater. I can also crawl onto land and let my hard turtle shell soak up some sun. I want to be a detective when I grow up. Being a detective is a very special job. I bet you are one smart turtle. I'm Sammy Swordfish, the coolest fish in the sea. Chop chop, I have a really cool sword as a nose. I can swim really fast, and I like to tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Telling jokes is a very special talent. I look forward to hearing some of your jokes, Sammy. I'm Kiki, a pufferfish. I can blow my body up into a big round ball. I have a lot of sharp spikes on my body. I love to play ocean soccer. I like to play soccer, too! Playing sports is a very special skill. I'm Diesel. I'm a manta ray. I have a really flat body so I can swim super fast. I want to be a singer. Hey, skibba da bada ba da wa wa yeah! What a beautiful voice! Singing is a very special talent. Hi, Chopper. I have really big Tharp teeth, but like Professor Tharp, I'm friendly too. I want to be a deep sea diver and find buried treasures. Wow! Buried treasure? That sounds cool! Hi, I'm Trigger. I'm a very special fish. I have a head shaped like a horse and a really cool tail that I can wrap around seaweed. I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Ha ha! An adventurer and a teacher! Very special careers! I'm Tang. I'm a yellow Tang fish. I have a really cool head fin feathery crest. I want to be a fish groomer. Thank you, Tang. Grooming other fish is a special talent, too. What an interesting group of fish! Oh, that's the lunch bell, kids! 
Well, I'm really looking forward to teaching you all this year. Yay! As the noon sun casts shadows on Fishtail Reef, the fish swim home to talk and eat. Wah! As Principal Whale's voice bellows an underwater punch, everyone in Fishtail Reef swims home for lunch. You must be hungry. Let's have some lunch. Then I want to hear all about school. Yes, let's hurry home. There's a fish football match on TV. I don't want to miss it. Now that we've all eaten, tell us all about your morning. <laughs> Finn and I are in the same class. Did you hear that, Papa? Finn and Fifi are in the same class. Papa is so busy watching the fish football match, he does not hear what Fifi or Mama Fish said, but he pretends he does. Very good, yes, mm, yeah, yes. And our teacher is Professor Shark. Professor Shark? He's the best teacher in Fishtail Reef. Did you hear that, Papa? Papa Fish is watching the fish football game. Again, he pretends to be listening. Oh, yes, yes. Very good. I like to watch football on TV, too. But today is Fifi and Finn's first day of school. Yes, Papa, please turn off the TV. Please, Papa. Papa. Papa Fish hears his name being called. He looks up and sees his family staring at him. He turns off the TV. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You've been talking and I've been watching TV. I know it's your first day of school and you must have a lot to tell me. We do. Fifi and I are in the same class. Well, that's amazing. Our teacher is Professor Shark. Professor Shark. <laughs> He's the best teacher in Fishtail Reef. Yeah, it is very exciting news. What did you learn this morning? We learned that each of us is special. Professor Shark said I was special because I like learning about the sea. He thought it was cool that I want to be a scientist when I grow up. Papa and I think you're special too, Finn. What about you, Fifi? What did you learn? Professor Shark said that I am very special too. He asked what my favorite color was and laughed when I said it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pink fish that loves to wear pink ribbons in your hair and your favorite color is pink. <laughs> that is funny. Is your best friend Lily in your class? Oh, yes. I'm so excited that she is in my class. Is your best friend Sammy in your class, Finn? He is. He likes to tell jokes. Professor Shark said that is a very special talent. It is. I love hearing jokes. Who else is in your class? Um, Paddle the Sea Turtle. He wants to be a detective. And Trigger the Seahorse. She wants to be a teacher. How many is that, Finn? Hmm, there's you and me. That is two. Lily is three. Sammy is four. Paddle is five. Trigger is six. Chopper is seven. How many students are in your class? Ten. Who are the other three? Hmm. Oh, yes. Yellow Tang. He has a feathery head fin. He wants to be a fish groomer. Tang makes eight. That leaves two other fish. Diesel. He's a manta ray. He swims really fast. Best. And he has a really beautiful voice. Professor Shark said singing is a special talent. Oh my, what a wonderful group of fish. They're not all fish, Mama. Some of them are marine mammals. Like Lily the Whale. She's a mammal. That's right. <laughs> You've learned so much already. Oh, <laughs> we have. And the tenth fish in our class is Kiki. She's a puffer fish. She loves football like you, Papa. That's right, Papa. She loves football like you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of football, why don't we turn on the TV and watch the rest of the game together? Great!
great idea, Mama! Papa likes the idea too. Watching football with his family is super cool. Beefy and her fishmates are learning to share, to give and to take when Professor Shark says, Time for a break. I have an important announcement to make. Listen up, my little trolls. I have a very exciting announcement to make. I love exciting announcements. Me too. Me three. I wonder what this announcement could be. I bet this announcement is something great. <laughs> well, it is exciting news. We are going on our first field trip. Fish sticks. Fish sticks? That means, oh goody. <laughs> I've never been on a field trip before. What is a field trip, Professor Shark? A field trip is when our whole class travels together to a new place to explore and learn. Wow! I love exploring new places. Me too. This is going to be so much fun. Well, there's a few important things to know before we leave for our field trip. First, you will each be paired with a buddy that you need to swim next to at all times during our field trip. I hope I get to be with you, Lily. You are my best friend in the whole wide ocean. Oh, I hope to get to be with you too, Fifi. <laughs> okay, Fifi and Lily. You are going to pair up and be fish buddies. Hooray! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Trigger, you are going to be paired with Kiki. Me and the Puffer. This is going to be fun oh fun oh vicious Finn, you are going to be paired with Sammy Swordfish. Tang, you are going to be paired with Diesel. Me and the Tang. Pedal, you are going to be paired with Chopper. High five Flipper, Chopper. Okay, class. Now let's go around the cove and have each of us say something nice about our buddies. My buddy is Lily. We go everywhere together. We are like two pearls in a clamshell. We swim and play all day long in our beautiful reef. And my buddy Finn has the coolest eyeglasses. He is so lucky. He has four eyes instead of two. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Tang is brighter than the sun. I'm a mellow yellow fella, and you're a fast fierce mensa ray. Petal is my buddy. She's a really cool sea turtle with awesome flippers. Trigger is the smartest, funniest seahorse in the sea. Uh, I'm so happy she's going to be buddies with me. <laughs> the children, now in pairs, are excited to go somewhere. Eagerly they shout, what is this field trip about? Okay, my little trolls. <laughs> now all of us are with our fish buddies, right? Yes, yes Professor Shark. Yes, Shark. Yes, Shark. Now can you tell us where we are going on our field trip? Oh yes, please tell me. We are going to swim deep down to the bottom of the sea. There, a mysterious object waits for us to discover and enjoy. Ooh. Wow. What kind of object? A sunken ship. Whoa, a sunken ship. Maybe we'll find some buried treasure. This is going to be our best adventure ever. Yay! The fish form pairs to keep them safe. For the deep dark sea can be a dangerous place. But our little fishes need not fear. For Professor Shark and soon, a surprise teacher will always be near. Two by two, now in pairs, the students bob and dip, all eager to start their fun field trip to see the sunken ship. I know you are all very excited. We will be leaving on our field trip to see the sunken ship in just a few minutes. 
We are waiting for one more surprise. Another surprise? What's that? I love surprises. Me too. Yes. yes. Alba! Welcome! Class, I'd like you to meet Alba. Hi, Alba! Hi, class. Alba is a white seal. She is our new teacher assistant. What's that? A teacher assistant is someone who helps a professor in the classroom. Alba is studying to be a teacher. How do you learn to be a teacher? I am studying to be a teacher at school. I am also going to learn a lot by helping Professor Shark and learning from all of you amazing students. Yay! Alba is attending the famous Aquatic Mammal University, better known as AMU. Ooh. It's nice to meet you, Alba. My name is Fifi. Hello, Fifi. It's good to meet you, too. My name is Lily. I'm a blue whale. Hello, Lily. Blue whales are very special sea animals. My name is Finn. I'm Fifi's brother. I love learning about the sea. So do I, Finn. We are going to learn a lot together. I'm Sammy Swordfish. Do you know a lot about the sea, Alba? I do. And I can't wait to teach you everything I know, Sammy. I'm Trigger. I'm a seahorse. I see you have four flippers. <laughs> That's fishadocious. <laughs> That's right, Trigger. I do have four flippers. I'm a seal. I am what is called a semi-aquatic marine mammal. I'm Tiki, a pufferfish. I can blow my body up into a big round ball. <laughs> Great to meet you, Kiki. My name is Petal, and I'm a sea turtle. Some turtles are semi... Uh, semi aqua aqua uh, <laughs> Yeah, what you just said, I'm that too. <laughs> S-E-M-I, aquatic. That's right, Petal. Some turtles live part of the time in the sea and part of the time on land. My name is Diesel. I'm a manta ray. I have a really flat body so I can swim super fast. Can you swim fast, Alba? Yes, but maybe not as fast as you. <laughs> I'm a tang, a, a bright yellow tang. Uh, are, we, are we still going on a field trip? I hope we're still going to see the sunken ship. Of course we are going on a field trip. I see you are already in pairs. Are we ready to go, Professor Shark? Yes, Alba. Ready, everyone? Yes. Yes. yes! All the students in the class depart for their fun-filled trip, happily swimming two by two to see a sunken ship. Professor Shark leads the group as they swim through Fishtail Reef. Alba the seal swims behind the troop as they head for the ocean deep. As the students embark on their first field trip, they learn about people and sunken ships. Can any of you tell me, what is a sunken ship? It's a big boat lying at the bottom of the ocean. Very good, Fifi. What else do you know about sunken ships? A sunken ship has something to do with the ones that live on top of the water. You mean people? I've seen them. Ooh. <laughs> people? <laughs> That's a funny word. What are people? They have very long flippers that smack the water when they try to swim. They move all around but don't get very far. <laughs> People don't have flippers, Petal. They have arms. <laughs> arms? <laughs> Another funny word. People arms? 
people arms flop and splash because people have to keep their heads above water so they can breathe. Very good, Finn. You are so smart. People can't breathe underwater like we can. Unless they are divers with special equipment. Divers? <laughs> <laughs> divers are people who can swim underwater like us. Right, Professor Shark? Yes, Trigger. They are people that use gadgets to breathe underwater for a short time. My mom saw a people diver in the reef once. It swam right near her. Ooh. Wow. What do people have to do with sunken ships? People can't breathe underwater, so they build ships. That's right, Chopper. A boat is something people use to travel across the water. Part of the boat sticks out of the water. People stay on this part of the ship. The other part of the boat is under the water. That is the part of the ship that sails through the water. <laughs> Ships swim like us? Cool! <laughs> I guess you could say that. There are many kinds of boats. Some boats are small and some boats are very big. Big boats are called ships. That is what we're going to see. But we're going to see a sunken ship? How did the ship get to the bottom of the ocean? Good question, Finn. People build boats to sail on top of the water. But sometimes these big ships don't stay on top of the water. They sink to the bottom of the sea. Do people live in sunken ships? No, people don't live in sunken ships. But lots of fish live in and around sunken ships. Fish sticks. I love meeting new fish. Are there a lot of sunken ships in the ocean? There are millions of sunken ships. Millions? That's a really big number. I can't even count to a million. Why do so many of these ships sink? Don't people know how to keep ships on top of water? <laughs> there are many reasons ships sink to the bottom of the ocean. Strong storm winds can blow a ship in the wrong direction, and people get lost. Ooh, I would not like to get lost in the ocean. Me neither, Fifi. It would be scary. It can be scary, Lily. Lightning can break a ship into two. Ooh. Wow. The bottom of the ship can hit a rock that people don't see. The rock punches a hole in the boat. The boat sinks. You can find sunken ships all over the ocean. And we are very lucky because we are going to see one today. Hooray! <laughs> As the students continue their fun field trip, they are eager to see the sunken ship. Everyone stares at the sunken ship. It is big and shiny. The top of it dips. One object catches all their fish eyes. A treasure chest filled with gold coins that shines. So shiny and pretty. What is it? Buried treasure. My dad and I love to search for buried treasure. Buried and spread all over the ocean floor. <laughs> <laughs> What is a treasure? Something very special. A treasure can be gold, jewels, and gems. But it can also be something that is important to someone. Like my stuffed starfish pillow? I love my pillow. It is so soft. I don't think I could sleep without my little starfish. Your stuffed starfish pillow is a treasure to you. What are those shiny objects? They are called coins. Gold coins! They are gold and shiny. There are so many of them. There are a lot of gold coins spilling out of that chest. That's called a treasure chest. Fish Dazzle! I think I've seen gold coins in our reef. Gold coins in the reef? Where? I have seen gold coins in that little pond of water near the playground. When the sunlight shines through the water, it really lights up. Oh, yes, I've seen it too. 
When the sun shines, the gold glows. I love swimming there. Me too. My dad and I like to hunt for treasure. When we find some, we take sand on it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you and your dad kick sand on the gold coins, Chopper? We like to bury it so no one else can find it. It's lots of fun. You and your dad would have fun burying these gold coins. There are so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Shark, I have a question. How did those gold coins get here? Fish play, my dear Tang. Inspector Petal is here to solve the mystery of the gold coins. <laughs> What do you think, Inspector Petal? Do you see any clues? <laughs> hmm, I think the sunken ship is a clue, Dr. Kiki. The sunken ship is a clue? That is a really big clue. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but look, Dr. Kiki, there are some coins on the main part of the boat. The main part of the boat? It's called the hull. Right, Professor Shark? That's right, Diesel. The main part of a boat is called a hull. Continue, Inspector Petal. <laughs> See those gold coins in the hull? The coins left a trail. A trail that leads from the boat to the sandy bottom. Ooh. Oh. I do see a trail of gold coins, Inspector Petal. Then you can see that the treasure chest fell off the ship when it sunk. It fell off the ship and hit the ground. It hit the ground and broke open. You did it again, Inspector Paddle. You solved the mystery. Fish play, my dear Fifi. Hooray! <laughs> now we know how the treasure chest landed on the ground. <laughs> yes, we do, Tang. Very good, Petal. You are going to make a great detective. I don't think I've ever met such a smart sea turtle. Shall we explore some more? Yes! yes. yes. The fish swim two by two as they search the ocean blue, not knowing inside the sunken ship lies the best part of their amazing trip. Time to explore the sunken ship. There are plants and wheels, and chairs, and boots. There's pictures of pirates, world globes, and maps. They even found a captain's hat, chains and masts, gold on the floor. But wait, they're about to discover so much more. Wow! So much to look at. What's that, Professor Shark? It's called a globe. It shows all the land and oceans of the Earth. What's the Earth? It's where we live. <laughs> <laughs> that globe looks like a ball I used to play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That is a pirate. What's a pirate? It is one of those people that lives above the sea, right, Professor Shark? That's right, Petal. A pirate is a person that sails the sea looking for gold and treasure. Looks like this pirate found a lot of gold. Did you see that? Something moved. I did see something move. What do you think it is? Let's swim closer. Hi. Hi, I'm Fifi. I'm Lily. My name is Shari. You live here? Yes. I moved there with my family from a reef far, far away. You live in the sunken ship? Yes. I am a stingray. My parents said it is good to live in a sunken ship. There are some yummy plants here to eat. There are also many plants that are soft and make a nice bed to sleep on. You are a stingray? We have a manta ray in our class. His name is Diesel. He sings so beautifully. Do you sing, Cherie? <laughs> a 
I sink sometimes, but the fish swim away. <laughs> Stingrays are like manta rays, but I have a stinger at the end of my tail. <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing in the sunken ship? We are on a field trip with our quass. Fifi, Lily, I've been looking for you. All the other fish swam the other way. Sorry, Alba. We were just saying hello to Cherie. Cherie is from a reef far, far away. Hello, Cherie. My name is Alba. Are you a seal? Yes, I am a seal. Are you a stingray? Yes. I heard there is going to be a new student, a stingray, joining our class. Cherie is going to be in our class? That is very good news. Oh, yes. I would very much like to be in your class. Yay! <laughs> Cherie is here with her parents to learn about life in Fishtail Reef. What is it like in your reef, Cherie? It is a little bit warmer and greener. But the plants here are so yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Alba, Fifi, Lily, we're waiting for you. Professor Shark is calling us. Who is Professor Shark? He is the best teacher in the whole wide ocean. You are going to love him. Everybody loves Professor Shark. Let's go. He's waiting for us. See you in class, we? See you soon in our lagoon. The sunken ship was really fun, but even better was meeting someone. Another fun fish to be their classmate. And Fifi and Lily just can't wait. Fifi and Lily, best of friends, always together through thick and thin. But now and then even best friends fight only to make up and set things right. I'm so happy you could come to my house to play today, Lily. You are my very best friend in all the ocean. And you are my very best friend in the whole wide sea. And today, we have all afternoon to play. Yay! <laughs> what do you want to play, Fifi? What do you want to play, Lily? I know. Let's watch TV. Let's watch that funny show with dancing snails. I don't feel like watching TV, Lily. Do you want to play a game? What game do you want to play? Let's play Fish Topolis! Is that the game where you name as many sea animals as you can? Yes! We take turns! The one who names the most sea animals becomes Fish Queen for a day! <laughs> feel like playing. I know! We can go to the playground and see if Kiki and Petal want to swim on the merry-go-round. We just saw Kiki and Petal. They went to Petal's house to play. What do you want to do? I want to watch that funny fish show on TV. I don't feel like watching TV. I don't feel like playing fish topless. I don't feel like going to the playground. You never want to do anything I want to do. Oh, you never want to do anything I want to do. I want to play a game. I want to watch TV. I'm going home. Was that Lily? I thought you two were playing here this afternoon. Lily wants to watch a TV show about dancing snails. I thought you liked to watch the TV show about dancing snails. I do, but today I wanted to play a game. I thought Lily was your best friend in the entire ocean. She is my best friend in the entire ocean. Sometimes, to be a good friend, you have to compromise. What's that? Compromise means finding something that will make both of you happy. I want to play Fishtopolis. I want to go to the playground. Lily wants to watch TV. Why can't you agree to do both? You can watch the TV show about dancing snails. Then you can play a game of Fishtopolis or go to the playground. 
Oh, I see. We can watch TV and play. Yes, that would make both of you happy. Where are you going, Fifi? I'm going to find Lily, Mama. <laughs> Lily, I'm sorry. Please come to my house to play. We can watch the TV show about dancing snails. I'm sorry too, Fifi. I would be happy to go to your house and play fish topless. Why don't we do both? Yes, we can do both. You're my best friend in the whole wide ocean, Lily. You're my best friend in the big open sea, Fifi. Even if we get mad at each other, we will always be best friends. You got that right. <laughs> Fifi and Lily swim home together, friends through good times and stormy weather. And even though they'll sometimes fight, they'll always make up and set things right. Thanksgiving in Fishtail Reef is a time to give thanks for the ocean deep. Plants and food and coral galore, friends and family, and so much more. Thanks to the animals who discovered the reef, gratitude, blessings for creating the beach. <coughs> Happy Thanksgiving and reef. Discovery Day, my young sea animals! Today we give thanks for our wonderful home in Fishtail Reef. May a warm ocean wave wash over you. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, Professor Shark! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, Alba! Can anyone tell me what we celebrate on Thanksgiving Day? It is a day we give thanks for everything we have in Fishtail Week. A day we get to eat a lot of food. <laughs> a day we celebrate the first animals who lived on Fishtail Reef. Oh, very good answers! In honor of the first sea animals that discovered our reef, I would like to go around the classroom and have each of you say something you give thanks for on this special day. I'll start. I am so thankful for the clear water in our reef. It is warm to swim in and delicious to drink. <laughs> I am thankful for all the plants that live in our reef. I am thankful for all the colorful coral that live in our reef. I am thankful for all the fish and sea animals that live in our reef. I am thankful for the sea grass in our reef. It is so soft to sleep on. I am thankful for all the yummy food we have on our reef. <laughs> I am thankful for the sandy bottom in our reef. It is soft to bounce on. Wishy wonk. I am thankful for my seahorse family, algae and seaweed that let me wrap my tail around its branches and hang upside down. I am thankful for all the colors in a reef. I like to find coral and plants that are bright yellow, like me, and play hide and seek with the other fish. It is very hard to find me. <laughs> I am thankful for all the fun things in our reef. We can play on the merry-go-round, we can play in a sunken ship, we can chase bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I am thankful for the ocean waves. I like to jump out of the water and ride them. I am thankful for the reef rocks. I like to sun myself and get very dry before jumping back into the sea. Your turn, Professor Shark. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for sea caves. I like to swim and hide in caves. <laughs> and I'm also thankful for all of my little sea bees in Class Cove 4. <laughs> Yay! 
There is so much to be thankful for. Professor Shark and I have written a little song for this special day. Ooh. Oh. Be thankful for everything in Fishtail Reef. Be thankful for your friends and the plants and the beach. Be thankful for all the many joys we share. Be thankful we have families and friends that care. Be thankful for all the love surrounding us. Be thankful for the treasures and the sea wind gusts. Plants Plants and food and coral galore. galore. Friends Friends and family and and so much more. more. Thanks Thanks to to the animals animals who discovered the reef. reef. Gratitude, Gratitude, blessings for for creating creating Fishtail Reef. reef. (laughs) This is the best class ever. Everyone agrees on Thanksgiving Day, being thankful is the fishtail way. So stick around, don't go away, for soon it will be Christmas Day. It's Saturday, then Sunday, there's no school till Monday. Beefy and Finn have nothing to do, but what do you do when there is no school? No school today! What should we do, Finn? I don't know. Wanna go to the playground? I can play with Lily and you can play with Sammy. I don't know. Do you wanna swim around the reef? We can play hide and seek in the coral. Maybe. Wanna go shopping in town? Mama and Papa left us some fish chips to buy something. I don't know. Wanna have lunch at the Fish Bait Cafe? I don't know. Finn, come on! Stop being glum! It's Saturday on Sunday! Time for us to have fun! I don't know what I feel like doing today. I have an idea! Let's do everything! We can swim anywhere we want! Anywhere? Anywhere! Everywhere! That's what I say! So much to do in just one day! So many places to visit and play! Look, Finn! We can play and swim around the playground! Good idea, Fifi! I love the playground! We can swim back and forth, up and down! It's so much fun, Finn! No reason to be down! You're the best, Fifi. This is awesome. Wee! <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's swim into town. I'm hungry too. Let's go. See you later. Catch a fin, guys. <laughs> what do you feel like eating, Finn? I would like to eat at Catfish Shack. That's a great idea! Let's go! Look! There's Tang! We were going to get something to eat at the catfish sack! I was swimming there to get something to eat, too! Wanna race? Sure! I'll start the race! Ready? Set? Go! What did you do today while we were at work? Did you have fun? You tell them, Finn. I thought there was nothing to do today. Then Fifi said, let's go out and play. First, we had fun on the merry-go-round. Then we went to town and raced around. We went for lunch, ate seaweed dip, then on to an adventure in a sunken ship. I had so much fun with Fifi and friends. I want to wake up and do it all again! Finn thanks Fifi, his sister. Of that he's glad. For tomorrow is Sunday, more fun to be had. Valentine's Day in Fishtail Reef begins with a lesson that all elders preach. Be kind, behave, be good, 
Be smart. Be a friendly little fish with a great big heart. Fishy hard day, my young sea animals. Today we celebrate love and kindness in Fishtail Reef. May a warm ocean wave wash over you. Happy Fishy Heart Day! Happy Fishy Heart Day, Professor Shark! Happy Fishy Heart Day! Or, as us seals who sun ourselves on rocks above the sea say, Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day, Elba! Can anyone tell me about Fishy Heart Day? Or, 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 or Valentine's Day? It is a day we love each other. A day we are nice to each other. A day for kindness. Very good. In honor of this wonderful holiday, I would like to go around the classroom and have each of you say something nice to each other. I'll start. I love everyone in this class. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you love me. <laughs> I do. It's, uh, funny. <laughs> there are all kinds of love, Sammy. I love all of my students, too. All kinds of love? Yes. There is the way you love your mother and father, the way you love your brother, the way you love your best friend. Like, I love Lily. <laughs> I love you, too, Fifi. <laughs> Oh, do I have to say I love someone? No, Finn. You could say something nice about someone. <laughs> you could tell a story about someone who did something nice for you. Sammy shares his lunch with me. That's cool. Finn helps me do homework. That's very nice. Kiki and me like to play together. I pretend I'm the great Inspector Petal who solves mysteries. And Petal pretends I'm his assistant, the smartest ever, Dr. Kiki. Oh, that's fun. Fishy Wonk, Tang said he likes the way I talk. Dragon said she likes my spiked fin. Everyone in the class likes the way I sing. Yes. Yes. yes! yes! You are all such nice, kind fish. <clears throat> Professor Shark and I wrote a song for you. Yay! Happy Fishy Heart Day, our Valentine to you is... We have something fun to teach, something very true. To live a happy life to start, you need to learn this rhyme by heart. Be, be kind, kind, behave, be good, be smart, be, good, be, smart, be a friendly little fish, fish with a great big heart. heart. <laughs> Be kind, behave, be good, be smart, be a friendly little fish, a great big heart. Great big heart, yeah. This is the best class ever! Everyone agrees, fish school is a breeze. The students are having so much fun. Stick around, there's so much more to come. Professor Shark quiets the class. He has something to say. He's going to talk about show and tell today. Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning Professor, Professor Shark. Shark. What are we going to do today, Professor Shark? Today, we are going to talk about show and tell. Show and tell? What is that? Ooh, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, Trigger, tell us, what is show and tell? Show and tell is when we bring something to class to show, and then we tell everyone about it. Very good, Trigger. Can you give us an example? 
I'm a seahorse. I have a curly tail. I brought my tail to class. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my tail to class so I can show it to you. Then I can tell you about my tail. <laughs> I can move my curly tail this way and that. I can wrap my tail around plants and hang upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I can show my blowhole. What is a blowhole? I am not a fish like you, Ten. I do not have gills to breathe underwater. You're not a fish? I am not a fish. I am a mammal. Mammals need to breathe air. I breathe air in and out of my blowhole. That's wishy-fishy cool. I would like to show everyone my eyeglasses. I need to wear eyeglasses so I can see better. Trigger, Lily, Finn. <laughs> These are all very good ideas. But I was thinking about another kind of show and tell. What kind of show and tell, Professor Shark? I was thinking we could spend the rest of the day swimming around Fishtail Reef. Swimming around the reef? <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> cool, I love swimming around the reef. Oh, me too. This is going to be the best school day ever. School is so much fun. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning Elba. 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 Professor Sark said we are going to spend the day swimming around the reef. That sounds like fun. We are not just going to swim around the reef, class. We are going to swim around the reef and look for something special to bring to class for show and tell tomorrow. Like a treasure hunt? I love treasure hunts. Me too. Me, Me too. too. What kind of treasure should we look for to bring to show and tell, Professor Sharp? Something you think is interesting and special. Can it be a plant? Yes, there are many interesting plants in Fishtail Reef. Can it be a rock? Of course, there are so many beautiful treasures to find in Fishtail Reef. This is going to be so much fun. If each of you is ready, I'll sound the field trip bell. Let's go find something special for tomorrow's show and tell. Everyone's searching. What will they find? Can't wait till tomorrow for show and tell time. Fifi and Lily swim through Fishtail Reef. For show and tell tomorrow, something special they seek. <laughs> This is so much fun! I love looking for show and tell ideas with you, Lily! I love looking for show and tell ideas with you too, Fifi! You are my best friend in the whole wide ocean! And you are my best friend in the big blue sea! I have an idea! Let's look for some blue coral! That is a great idea, Fifi! Is blue your favorite color, Lily? Yes, I do love the color blue. What is your favorite color, Fifi? I like blue too, Lily, but my favorite color is pink. I like the color pink too. That's why I like hanging out with you. I have an idea. Let's try to find some blue and pink coral for show and tell. That's a great idea, Fifi. Maybe there is some blue and pink coral by the old cave. Let's go! Maybe we will see old Benny the fish. He is the best cave gardener in all the ocean. Oh, yes. Old Benny the fish takes very good care of all the plants, seaweed, and coral that live in the cave. I'm sure he will know where we can find some blue and pink coral for show and tell tomorrow. Should we call his name and see if he's here? Benny! Benny, Benny, Benny fish. fish! Hi, 
Hi, Benny. Yes, we were calling your name. Professor Shark told us to swim through the reef and look for something special to bring to class tomorrow for show and tell. Show and tell. Now that sounds like a lot of fun. How can I help? I was hoping to find some blue coral to bring to class with me for show and tell. I was hoping to find pink coral. Hmm, it takes a very special fish and a very special whale to search for blue and pink coral. It is not easy to find. Do you know where blue and pink coral live, Benny? Blue and pink coral like to live in clear water that is not very deep. They like a lot of sunshine. Thanks, Benny. Those are very good clues. Yes, thanks, Benny. I think I know a place where the water is clear and not very deep. Rockledge Beach. Right, Lily? Yes, Rockledge Beach gets the most sunshine in all Fishtail Reef. Have fun exploring, Fifi and Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Fifi. What are you looking for? Hi, Alba. We are looking for pink and blue coral. Pink and blue coral? That is very hard to find. It is. We thought we could find some near the cave. We didn't find any coral, but we did find Benny Fish. He said pink and blue corals like to live in water that is not very deep. Benny Fish also said pink and blue corals like to live in water that is warm from the sun. I know where the water is clear, warm, and not too deep. Where? where? Follow me. It's beautiful here, Alba. I see so many colors of coral. <gasps> Look, Lily, blue coral. I see pink coral, too. Good job. You two are very good explorers. Professor Shark is going to be very excited to see what you have for show and tell. Fifi can't wait for show and tell. Finding blue and pink coral with Lily has been swell. Another amazing adventure in Fishtail Reef. Now it's time to go home and get something to eat. It's Trigger's turn for show and tell, and she has a wonderful tale to tell. She has cousins so tiny they are hard to see. Blending in coral, there are one, two, and three. Pygmy seahorses they are called. See if you can find them, they are so small. Good morning, class. Good morning, Professor Shark. Today we have a very exciting day. It is Trigger's turn for show and tell, and she has brought some very special guests to visit. Ooh. Happy Coralicious Day, everyone. For show and tell today, I brought in my cousins, Pammy, Tammy, and Hammy. Um, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't see anything either. What do your cousins look like? They look kind of like me, but they are very little. Tell us more about Pammy, Tammy, and Hammy. <laughs> Pammy, Tammy, and Hammy are pygmy seahorses. Pygmy seahorses? Pygmy means small. Oh. I don't see them. Are you sure they are sitting on the coral? Maybe they swam away. No, they are right here. They are just hard to see. Tell us why they are hard to see, Trigger. They are hard to see because they are the same color as the coral. Ooh. Oh. If the coral is pink, they are pink? Yes. If the coral color is yellow, they are yellow? That's right. 
My pygmy seahorse cousins like to blend in with the color of the coral they live on. Wow! If they are the same color as coral, how can we see them? You have to look very closely. Pammy, Tammy, Hammy, can you please say hi to everyone? Hi, my name is Pammy. Ahoy, fish mates, I'm Hammy. <laughs> hi, Tammy, 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 Tammy. I do see them. They are so cute. They look like you, Trigger. Only they are much smaller. Are they babies? Will they get bigger when they grow up? I am not a baby. We are older than Cousin Trigger. That's right. Pammy, Tammy, and Hammy might be smaller than me, but they are my older cousins. They are a mini you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Petal, they are not a mini me. They are a different kind of seahorse. Pygmy seahorses! Thank you for bringing your cousin in for show and tell. It was very interesting to learn about pygmy seahorses. They are the cutest! <laughs> pygmy seahorses for show and tell. Discovering them has really been swell. New sea creatures to meet and learn. Amazing fish everywhere you turn. Above the ocean, in people's minds, it's Easter Bunny, funny hats, and egg hunting time. But below the ocean, in Fishtail Reef, it's the hidden oyster pearl that everyone seeks. Happy spring, my little sea urchins! It's time for the annual oyster pearl hunt! A very exciting day in Fishtail Reef! Who will find the biggest and best pearl this year? Good luck to all of you! May a warm ocean wave wash over you. Happy spring, class! Happy, Happy spring, spring, Professor Shark! Shark. 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 Today is a very special day. Can anyone tell me why? Today we swim through the reef and try to find the biggest and best pearl. That's right! Today, our oyster friends open their shells and show us their pearl hidden inside. Ooh. Happy spring, class! Or, as the people who live above the sea say, Happy Easter! Happy, Happy spring, spring, Alba! Alba. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter. On Easter, people hunt for eggs. In Fishtail Reef, we look for big, bright pearls. Why does the pearl have to be big and bright? Oyster pearls are magical. If we find a large, bright pearl, it means spring will bring mild weather. And plenty of food for everyone all summer long. Can anyone tell me what pearls look like? They are round. Some are round, but pearls can also form uneven shapes. They are white. Some are white, but pearls come in all different colors. There are gray pearls, blue pearls, green pearls, black pearls. That's a lot of colors. It is. Pearls are shiny and beautiful. Right, Alba? Yes, Petal. Pearls are shimmery and very special. How do we get oysters to open their shells and show us their pearls? We have to ask them very nicely. But first, we have to find them. 
<laughs> Oysters are shy sea animals. They like to hide in the reef. We have to be very quiet. And when we find an oyster, we have to be very polite and say please. And if an oyster doesn't want to open its shell, we must swim away quietly. Why won't an oyster open its shell? Not all oysters have pearls. Finding an oyster with a big, bright pearl is going to be hard. Hard, but fun. It's like a treasure hunt. We will swim together as a class. Is everyone ready? Yes! yes. 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 Mellowing whale should sound the start bell any second. There it is. Let's go. I think I see one. Oyster lying in the sea, please show your pearl to me. Can I try, Professor Shark? Go ahead, Fifi. Oyster lying in the sea, please will you show your pearl to me? Look! The oyster is opening its shell! Wow! It's so beautiful! It, it is, is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> they did it! They found it! A perfect pearl lying on the ocean floor. It's spring! It's Easter! The pearl does foretell mild weather, lots of food, and an ocean that's swell.